Hey, it's Michael from GRTraining.com. Welcome to another uh, YouTube tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use simplified workflow for Scrum and Kanban. Basically, we're going to talk only about Scrum. However, however, it's exactly the same procedure for Kanban. Yes, so there's no point for me to record another separate video for Kanban because simplify workflows work in exact same way. So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you three things today, only three things. How to create a new column, how to basically add new statuses and what is really, really, really cool, I think, you know, is, is very important and a lot of people don't utilize this function uh, properly, is how to add multiple statuses for a single column. And of course, I'm going to show you how to do it from the beginning. All right, so let's jump into my uh, Jira instance. All right, yeah, so I've just created a few minutes ago a sample Scrum project but as I told you in the beginning doesn't really matter it's absolutely fine for Kanban yeah so it doesn't matter you know it's going to work in the exact same way for Kanban right so before we're going to do it because it's a brand new project I need to do one one important thing even I'm the system administrator I need to appoint myself as the project administrator because here I've got new very very well i quite like it new 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 uh, configuration bits and they change they change actually a few a few a few things which i really really like it so let's let's do it we're gonna navigate first thing of course now i'm assuming you're the system administrator like me we just uh, went to the project but just create a project and with a sample data so if you don't know how to create a sample data watch my other tutorial it's very simple and now step one is to navigate to the project settings. Okay, cool. And of course, there is a new thing. There is a new thing. There is that new uh, section called people. If you don't have it, if you still don't have it in your Jira cloud, do not worry. This is going to be uh, probably updated in a in very 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 soon. You know, I'm, I, I believe in they they just rolling out the update for most of them because I've got actually a few Jira instances and my other instance doesn't have it. Still got this old one uh, users. I think users and permissions. So what's going to happen now? I'm going to go to the people. And as you can see, there is actually my ID. Jira, uh, Jira just added me automatically, but I'm not a developer. My role at the moment is going to be not a developer. My role is going to be administrator. I'm going to show you why. Before we're going to do it, I'm just going to show you why because it is it is actually uh, now a common question. A few people already asked me what to do with it. Why I'm going to add myself to the administrator? Because look at this. We're going to t we're going to we're going to actually uh, configure the simplify workflow today. And if I'm going to go back to to the backlog, to the board settings. We're going to work today with the columns. The add status is grayed out. Yes, it's grayed out because there is no, uh, I'm not a project administrator. I mean, I'm a system administrator, but I'm not a project administrator. So for Jira, sorry, you can't do that. And so I cannot add another status statuses. I can only add columns yeah, because that's how it works. So to fix it, very easy. Let's go back to project settings, people. And I'm going to appoint myself as the administrator. That's it. That's really it. Yeah, so I'm the administrator and I'm also developer. And let's go back to the backlog. Let's navigate to board settings. And as you can see, that status is now enabled. All right. So before we can actually talk about the columns, let's talk about the simplify workflow. Because as you can see, it's just actually been saying to me, I am using the simplify workflow. What the simplify workflows mean? It means I can tag an issue if I'm going to go to active sprints. Yes, I can tag that issue and drag it to any columns from any columns. Yes, because that's the whole beauty of the simplify workflow. Yes, I can take it even from resolved and put it back to to do. Nothing is going to stop me. Nothing is going to stop me. That is because it's a simplify workflow. And also, what does it mean? This, that the simplify workflow is directly connected 
with the columns and statuses in the board configuration. So of course, you know, you can go to the project settings, go to the workflows. And of course, you know, if I'm going to go to the edit mode like this one, you know, I can actually start adding statuses. And I, of course, you know, all to all means there is a simplified workflow. So yes, you can do it like this, but, that, but if, of course, in the one condition we're using is that simplified workflow is much easier to do it from directly, directly from the board configuration. And that's what we're going to do it right now. So let's go to the board settings. And we're going to, of course, make sure that the columns section is enabled was active actually. So what we can see right here, the three statuses, the three, three, three statuses. So, well, you know, now I'm the project administrator, the status is enabled, uh, columns is enabled. So let's do it. Let's start adding more columns. Okay. So I'm going to add the columns and, you know, very common is of course, uh, our column. Uh, yes. Thank you. Jira blocked because I've been rehearsing before. And by the way, now there is a category and yeah? there is a, there is a category. So basically if I'm, cause I've got block two, Jira is going to allow me to select category. Why Jira is not actually allowing me from here to select the category? Because that, 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 sorry, that, that column, that column being already used. So, um, it's like in a global configuration. So basically, yes, you can go to the, um, main, main, uh, Jira settings global settings, yes, and change that. But because I've been already creating the column name with, with that name for other projects, Jira pre-configure that, yeah? So it is actually status to do. But I just want to show you something, you know, because there is something interesting. So what is that category? What is that category? It's the category for the column. Please remember, it's the category for the column. It's not category for, for Jira. It's just associated with a column, yes. So what we've got here, we've got actually three status in progress, to do, and done. Very quickly, I personally believe the work could be done in a binary mode. So this one is one, this one is zero, and this one is also zero. So, so there's not such thing like, you know, we're doing something or, or maybe we're not doing something. No, it's, it's very, very, it's like most of the time it will be like, don't do some work, doing some work, or we're not doing any work. So for that reason, I would say, you know, that blocked is uh, to do. Yeah, so it is zero. Okay, I've added that uh, blocked. And maybe we can add another column, like something like feedback. Yeah, I've been also rehearsing. And again, your feedback is, 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 is nothing really. Uh, there's nothing, nothing, no, there's no work. So again, it's going to be to do. And maybe I'm going to add something else to be more interesting. I'm going to add QA. And QA, you know, as you can see, is in progress. So I would say, yes, uh, why not? Why not? Again, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so now if we're going to go back to our board, just please don't forget we're using um, in this actually example Scrum, but Kanban is going to be absolutely the same thing. But of course, you know, in Scrum, uh, workflow is only on active sprints. So you have to make sure you, you've got some sprints and the sprint is active. All right. So as you can see, you know, what's happened now, it is our our workflow been updated. So our board is changing. Yeah. So we've got a few extra new statuses. And this, this is how simple and how fast you can build really, really complex workflow in Jira. Of course, simplify workflow, yeah? And I can, you know, just start moving them absolutely fine. But you know, what's gonna happen now, the question is like blocked is not very accurate because I would, I always like to, you know, have a little bit more details why it is blocking us, yeah? Why it is blocking us. So I'll go again, go back to the board settings. And I would say, we need some extra additional statuses. So basically I would just, because I've been rehearsing, I've got something like here already pre-configured, waiting for a customer. And I'm gonna add another status, which is for instance, waiting for the dev team. Why not? Why not? Well, it was very, very cool. So what's gonna happen? I don't really need that blocked as blocked, but I would like to add waiting for the dev team or waiting for the customer. 
yeah. Same about the feedback, you know, I don't really need the feedback, I need to probably replace it by another uh, status, something like uh, require definition. Why not? Why not? You know, why not? Require definition is actually t just not bad. And uh, maybe another one. What we've got here? Wait, what we've got here? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's gonna add something, something else. I'm thinking it was something like in review. So, okay, in review, that's absolutely fine. So look at this, I've got actually, uh, that's still a few columns like in progress. I'll probably remove it, you know, because I don't really, uh, maybe I don't need that in progress, but whatever, I'm gonna, for the, for the, for the presentation purpose, I'm gonna leave it. But now we're gonna, something more interesting happening right here. So we've got actually blogged, we've got two additional statuses. And feedback with also additional stages because this is super, super, super important and a lot of people actually ignoring this fact. Please do not forget that one column can take multiple statuses, multiple statuses. So there's like no limit. Of course, God, don't go too crazy. Um, but you know, it's worth to experiment. So look at this, what's gonna happen now when I'm gonna come back to my board. All right. So I'm gonna go into the active sprint and look at this, you know, where is my waiting for death? Where is my, uh, where is my feedback? Well, I can't see them. Yes, don't worry. Everything's absolutely fine. You're gonna see them when you start dragging the card. Yeah, so look at this. Wow, all right. So basically I can decide why it is blocking us because maybe waiting for a customer or maybe waiting for the dev team. Cool, you know, again, same thing about feedback, you know, why this feedback? Waiting, it's just the definition, definition required, or maybe it's in review. Yeah, so very cool. And you can add, of course, multiple statuses, and I'm gonna add this one. But from the board perspective, it looks like the same. So, you know, another, sometimes customers ask me, so how I know, how I know which status, in which status this is actually associated. Very simple, just highlight uh, the mouse over the card, and by the way, you can see that the pop-up is appearing. And I think, I think, it's, to be honest, I don't really like this pop-up. I think, to be honest, they, I've seen my, another customer, uh, and I think they removed that pop-up. So they actually put it back that micro editor, but that doesn't really matter because what we're looking for is the status and the status is appearing right here. Yeah. So I can clearly see basically status is not feedback, feedback, but it is actually require definition, yeah? But of course it is a way, another way to add few additional information because if you really wanna do, if you really wanna know what is the status on the card, you can put that additional information on the card. How to do it, again, it's very simple. Go to the three dots menu, board settings, and we're gonna navigate to card layouts and of course we, we're not going to talk about backlog we're going to talk about active sprints because active sprints is corresponding with that second menu and i'm going to search oh by the way you can add additionally three extra three extra statuses so, so use it wisely okay so i've added actually status and let's see what's going to happen i'm going to go back to the board and there you go and now, now you're gonna know more clearly. Of course, this one is to do, to do, but as you can see it's blocked, but it's not really blocked because this one is waiting for the dev team. So, okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Again, please leave the comments, subscribe to my channel, and let me know if you've got any questions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.